Hi everyone, Lindy Houston here from PKN Packaging News. I'm here with Mark Dingley from APMA and we are hosting together a Australia and New Zealand visitors to Interpac reception here at Interpac in Dusseldorf. Now Mark, isn't it great to be back? It's, uh, it's very exciting to be back after uh, six years of uh, absence. Interpac is well and truly back and, uh, and certainly the Australian and New Zealand contingent are uh, very well, very much supporting, as you can see behind us, over 150, I think, uh, people have come out of AWPMA members and, and also just manufacturers here, I can see today. And it's uh, great that we've got such a good support to, uh, to the show. And isn't it a fantastic prelude to our own show next year, Apex? Yeah, uh, it, and that is the point here, that uh, so much innovation looks like has happened over the last six years since last Interpac. And, and most exciting of all is the fact that, uh, that what is on show here and the best of the best will be on show at Apex in 24. And that's happening in March, so it's not too long away. Correct. And even, even more exciting is uh, obviously the transition from Auspac to Apex. Mm -hmm. uh, that was, the decision was made by the APMA board last year and we had that uh, gala night reveal of the new Apex show uh, last year. We're already 50% uh, larger than Auspac and, and uh, if the trend continues, it will be a sellout by the end of the year. So Apex now incorporates packaging and processing side um, in a much, on a much bigger scale. And as you mentioned earlier, Mark, it's a show for the industry, by the industry. And that's the exciting part. And, 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 and the, the, you know, the work that we have done has all been about how could we bring the industry together, uh, unite the industry under one roof, one show that's going to be based in Melbourne every three years moving forward. It is truly exciting and certainly um, we look forward to a bigger and better, bigger crowd than we've ever seen at any previous Auspac before. Well, it's day two, the end of day two at Interpac. My feet are pretty tired. <laughs> I've walked at least 10 k's today, Mark. Um, I think it's going to be a great show. It, it certainly is, and, uh, and uh, we've already seen that in the, in the uh, last two days. And uh, good news is there's five days to go, Lindy, so, uh, so get those runners on because I think there is still a lot more to, uh, to uncover and to report back on to our Australian listeners. Thanks very much for joining me, Mark.